Hey guys, and welcome back to another part of my Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door playthrough. In the last part, we got cursed yet again, but this time for the final time, and we get our last paper ability. And we also explored a bit more of the grottos, and we got a couple more star pieces, and fought a bunch of enemies, and that's about it pretty exciting part, but in this part, we're going to use our newfound boat ability. Not hop on Yoshi, but we're going to explore a good bit of the Grotto with our new ability, which is nice. So right here, we just have to backtrack a little bit, and if you recall, there was a boat panel uh, where we got our shine sprite and of course we're gonna have this problem again we're gonna have to uh, he's not jumping when I press A jump thank you alright now we gotta come back through here Oh crap, I was good. What? Wow, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Mario? Alright, play. Let's do it your way. Let's do it your way. Alright, so now that that crap is over, let's come through here. And what we want to do is we want to come up here and there should be a boat panel out here somewhere. Yep, called it. Alright, so before we go down that waterfall, there's actually a secret back in this room. And you can actually go behind this waterfall. And there should be a, uh, an item. Yep, an item for you. And I believe it's a badge. Ooh, Defend Plus badge. Nice. For your partner. Yeah, you can get that badge if you des if you so desire. But if you just want to continue with the story, you just want to come down this waterfall. You want to sail your way this way. Right here. Going back to our previous area. So we're just sailing along on the open world. Not the open sea. We're inside a freaking cave. And right here, we go back to the beginning and we get to this thing, which we couldn't access earlier. Which is nice. So what we want to do is, we want to go back to where that, uh, I guess you could say, that thing with all the chains on it. I don't know what it's called. So we want to come, yeah, we want to come back to this room. And right here you can see a place where we can put that handle we just got. So we want to use that and lift up this gate. And that'll open up a new path for us. And of course the freaky ghost is making this stupid noise, but whatever. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to come back up here. And you want to get back on that boat panel go back down the waterfall and into our new path well it's not a new path, it's the old path except we can finally like explore the waterfall a little bit and can we go this way? no we can't, okay alright so we need to go right and this is going to take us back into that room with all the tides and you're going to hate this part well, I'm gonna hate it. You guys are probably gonna love it because I might fail. And if you even touch these tides, they make you start from the very beginning. Holy 
jeez, 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 jeez. Yeah, you do not. If you touch these, they will send you back to the very beginning, which is very annoying. And even if the tide, like the tides, can actually uh, start right on top of you, and it still counts as you hitting it, so it'll send you back to the beginning. And luckily, I made it through that unscathed. All right, and oddly enough, there's people in here. So let's go ahead and sell on um, by that thing. Oh, what is that? Well, that was pointless. Are oh, you kidding me? Huge bummer. Huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of boat form. Let's go in this pipe. And we're going to want to come over here. Into the background. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this mountain back here and it's going to take us to this pipe right in front of us. And what we have to do is we have to fly to these pipes right like so. And we have to hit these little switches that are in the background. And those will make barrels appear out of nowhere in the water. And our goal here is to get these guys to safety. So what we're going to do is we're going to just fly here to this pipe and go ahead and activate this switch. And that's going to trigger two more barrels and a cutscene. And these guys are going to be super happy. And they're going to make their way across. That's a lot of toads too. Holy crap. And right here, we're actually going to see some familiar faces. And would you look at that? We got, uh... What's that dude's name? Oh yeah, Frankie. Frankie and Francesca. So apparently they were marooned on this island too. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and get on this playing panel. And let's go, no, 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 fly to this ship. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Right, so we actually saved these guys. So basically what happened to them happened to us as well. And so we have Francesca and Frankie over here. And they said they set out on a trip, but they got too close to this island and they got raped. Hardcore. So, what the fuck? Alright, so. Okay, so we tell them about we're after the Crystal Star and we're gonna have to confront Cortez to get it. So, right through here. It's going to be Cortez the Pirate King. So what do you say we advance, shall we? And we're going to have a little thing. And how did this guy get in here? Like, what the crap? How was he able to follow us in here? Like, unless he swam. Because there's no other way he could have got here unless he swam. But anyway, he's going to wish us luck for fighting this, uh, Thing, and then he mentions Grotus like a retard. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. And we're going to go in here and fight Cortez. Now, Flurry is going to be ideal for this fight, but I really don't want to use her, so. I think I'm going to use Vivian. You ignore my warning. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Well, I guess we're going to be lost in darkness, I guess. Come into my... And he coughs up the stuff. 
What a stunning entrance. Enough, I grow tired of this spooky old business. I am a pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold blooded villain who robs innocence of life. Loot, not a prime ghost. And you are after my treasure. Alright, so Cortez is upset that we're after his treasure, so I guess we're gonna have to trounce him if we can't reason with him. So let's go ahead and start this battle by charging him. Can Vivian charge? Yes, she can. And we guarded against that well. And of course we're fighting Cortez. He has three different forms. Each of his forms has 20 HP. So basically he has a total of 60 HP, which is pretty insane. So let's go ahead and power bounce this guy. Do quite a bit of damage. Now let's use Shade Fist. And after that, his first form goes down. Now next we have a bit of a snake form. So let's go ahead and charge again. And also, you want to watch out for this form because he can actually charge up his attack like that. <sighs> uh, let's go ahead and charge. And let's have Vivian use Bail on Mario. And we got the bingo! Yeah! Appreciate that. Now our FP is revealed. And we dodged the attack. And the attack. What is he doing? Okay, useless boo is useless. Crap. Alright, let's go ahead and power bounce this guy. Let's have Vivian use Shade Fist. Get stylish on that, and his second form goes down with ease. Now, his third form can be pretty deadly because he takes out all his weapons and he can attack you a total of, I believe, eight times. Which is insane. Right. Let's just have Vivian charge up. Yeah, these attacks can be pretty difficult to dodge. And also, you want to be aware of that hook because it can actually poison you. So be aware of that. Let's go ahead and charge again. And charge one more time. And this battle should be over. Ugh. That sword gets me every time. Okay, I dodged that one that time. Oh wow. Oh, it didn't poison me that time. I got lucky. Right. Yeah. This is his most deadliest form. And make sure you attack Cortez because sometimes you'll actually mistake attacking his weapon. Like with this one, it looks like you're attacking Cortez, but just be just pay attention to what you're doing. So let's go ahead and power bounce this guy. Let's go ahead and use Shade Fist on Cortez. And 
that's it for the fight. He's done. And we get a level up from that too, which is nice. I think I'm going to upgrade HP again. Because I really should get my HP up. And Cortez... can't be defeated. Because he is technically already dead, so we can't destroy him. So he's been guarding this treasure for a hundred years. And then we tell him we're not even interested in his treasure and we just want that crystal star that's over there. Oh yeah. And he just lets us have it. So basically we just fought this guy for nothing. I mean, we got a ton of star points, but it's still. Alright, and we got our crystal star. Our star power is now 6, and we got the special move Sweet Feast, which is an upgrade of Sweet Treat. Sweet Feast is probably... You'll probably be using that a lot, too, when you're in the tight spot. And let's save our game progress. And now that we have our crystal star, how are we going to get off this cursed island? And we get thrown out of the ship. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back the scrap. I gotta get used to calling them scrap. I wanna just call it. <sighs> great. That's just great. Alright. I think we got a lot done in this part, so I think I'm gonna end it off right here. If you guys enjoyed this part and found it helpful, I hope you come back for more. And I will see you guys later